Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Rest of Off The Cuff. Today we have a quick little strap review for you from the brand uh, Nick Mankey Designs. Uh, essentially, they make a, quite a few different products um, ranging from watch straps to wallets to kind of general EDC type gear. They make some pretty cool stuff, and they're definitely more than just a strap maker. They are, you know, I consider them kind of a, a design house, um, and they really have some unique ways um, that they think of, uh, I guess, new solutions and, and new ways to kind of think of uh, how to do jobs that are already out there. And one of the things that they've done is they've created this uh, strap they call the hook strap. And uh, what we'll do is we'll get a little bit closer in hand, but essentially it's, you know, there, there's been ever since Erica's Originals Marine National Straps came out, it's kind of opened the gates for a lot of different types of elastic uh, watch band straps and they've, they're very comfortable. Um, but the nice thing is that it's actually caused quite a bit of innovation and there's a lot of companies that are kind of doing their own take on it and uh, using integrating some things that are more traditional, some things that are definitely a little bit more outside of the box. And uh, we're getting to see a lot of fun and interesting and different ways um, you can secure a watch strap. So I think that's kind of fun and interesting. And of course, um, kind of the test mule for this video is the Notice Contrail 39 um, in the black sand dial. Uh, for me, it's just, it's really honestly just so um, versatile that it just, uh, you know, it made sense to throw it on uh, this for this video. Also, with the fact that it does have drilled lug holes, it does make switching out spring bars and straps and whatnot that much easier. So that's why you'll see it here. Uh, so with that said, let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look. Alrighty, so when it comes to these straps, um, you know, basically the reason why they call it the hook strap is because it has a hook here, as you can see, very finely machined and whatnot. Uh, this is actually the brushed finish. It's available in a couple different sizes, readily available in uh, 20 and 22 millimeter diameter. This is the 20 millimeter. And then as far as uh, kind of pre-orders, they do have an 18 millimeter and a 24 millimeter in the works, but that's about six months out. Um, so depending on you watch this when you watch this you'll see different things available so essentially um you know it, it's it's a pretty complex as far as the initial setup but once you have it set up it's actually pretty simple um i'm not going to go through kind of the whole rigmarole and the how-to because it does come with a really nice uh pamphlet that kind of shows you how to lay out what and run whatever through but i will kind of show um kind of how we put it on the wrist and the, just the first general uh, piecing together is basically go like this and then I what I like to do is figure out the size by kind of evening things out and whatnot so that there's kind of a level plane uh, as far as how far this loop comes out and this hook essentially um, and try to getting getting them a little bit even by playing with the material a bit just pulling on it stretching it out until it is fairly even so you kind of have an, an even uh, three sections all the way around so one of the nice things that i will say about this setup um, is that it does kind of it it fix this the whole idea of having this snap back and hit your crystal which in pretty much uh, most other incarnations of these type of straps it's something you have to be very aware of and weary of to make sure that that's not something that you're going to do by accident here um, essentially there's not any, really any tension there uh, at least in kind of the initial setup so what i'll do is i'll run my hand through and then i push pull this through here and then essentially i'll have it go through and there you have it then i'll basically pull this a bit here which will kind of create that quadrant and try to get it a little matched up essentially i like to do is i like to have it you know like i was mentioning before kind of evenly spaced from here to here so that we get a nice kind of even plane underneath just so, so it rides really flat and of course this it doesn't have to be perfect that's just for me I like to kind of you know the OCD 
in me um, wants it to be very perfect and, and aligned. So for me, that's that's pretty nice uh, as far as making sure that we got the hardware here and here uh, really evenly spaced. But this thing is super comfortable. Um, really, uh, you know, the huge selling point in these types of straps is the comfort. This is definitely something that's really nice. And then also one thing is that it's clear underneath, so it doesn't add any bulk. Of course, that does negate, let's say, something like a traditional NATO, where you're gonna have it underneath, so if, we'll say, one of these spring bars fails, the, the basically, the strap is still around your wrist, and you have the watch hanging on by one spring bar here. If, let's say, the spring bar fails, the watch can flop off. So, it's, you know, you kind of pick your poison there, but it's not like this is any less um, resilient than uh, the standard two-piece setup so um it's not something that i think should really um worry about too much let me a little bit more my arm there so you get an idea of the scale seven and a quarter inch wrist 39 millimeter watch 20 millimeter strap very comfortable so really nice and i guess kind of to be expected um and i think it has a you know a nice texture to it tightly woven you can see the stitching is very nice the hardware is really quite nice it's actually even has the signed hook buckle there uh, one thing i will say is this is definitely out of all of the setups i've had it's probably the most complex um to to get onto your wrist uh to get set up one to run everything through to pull and and, and kind of get everything going um there's there's definitely a, a decent amount of setup in it but once it's good it's, it's good this is this fits great and then of course if you want to adjust it in any way you totally can if you want to add, you know basically take some of this slack pull it out and then add some slack here you can do that and then kind of jimmy it around until it's nice and flat again and essentially the smaller you make this space the longer these will get and then the more space the more length you're going to have so there's not too much I can really talk on for this. Um, you know, I think it works really nicely, as you can see. And you can see also that it's very comfortable. As far as, you know, is this going to be, is this the end-all, be-all, the, the, the next way, the right way? I don't know. Uh, I think it's pretty cool and, and pretty innovative. I do like the finishing, uh, the quality of the strap, as well as the hardware. Uh, it even has a little tag there, as you can see. So uh, hand wash only, uh, Nick Mankey designs, and then you do have the signed brushed buckle uh, as far as that portion goes. So yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's a cool concept. I think it works out well. As far as like storing your strap, I guess the way you would lay it out at night, um, if you were gonna do that, it would probably be something along maybe these lines. Um, kind of get it flat like that or even hook it back over like you saw in the beginning of the video again there's going to be kind of a lot of playing because of the way that you're going to run your hand through essentially this center portion so there's a lot of moving parts as far as kind of the loop goes and whatnot um, but the nice thing is you do get quite a bit of padding as you can see basically two-sided for here and then you're going to basically get three pieces of material here for underneath so i think that's kind of nice gives you a little protection and then also it's you know the standard layout on a bracelet normally is you're going to have a thicker clasp and then uh, skinnier links so it does give you some nice uh, i guess uh kind of similar aspect from that standpoint i think this looks great feels great um it's just for me a little over complex but it does give you kind of that fun, I guess, that fidget factor, if you will. Actually, let me wipe a little bit of the dust, a little some smudging on here. <sighs> Sorry about that. Now you can't see anything on screen and it's back. So really handsome piece. Um, I guess I could try to show you guys the stitching there, you know, quite uniform, nicely done. Uh, this, this stitching here is nice, the edges are really well done as you can see I've definitely seen worse uh, from that standpoint when it comes to 
uh, these types of straps. So this is pretty thick, I'd say, and uh, pretty soft and supple, uh, which is nice, uh, versus some straps tend to be a little bit harder and, and really stiff. This one is gonna be more on the soft side and then the supple side. So this is gonna be a nice wear, uh, something that you're gonna be able to wear in a very sporty capacity. You pretty much will never have to worry about this coming off of your wrist because as you can see, there's really no way that this is not gonna be, you know, you really have to be very purposeful and deliberate in what you're doing to get this off. Like even if I, you know, just don't do a good job of trying to pull at it, it's still not coming out because it really just needs to be lifted and pulled underneath. So this that's one of the nice things, you'll never really have to worry about this coming off of your wrist. You might have to worry about it too much uh, or a little extra if you can't figure out how to get it off because of all the looping and, and swooping and pulling you're gonna have to do. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you guys have experience with this type of strap, definitely let me know what you think. Uh, I think they actually have some pretty cool, interesting color combinations available. And the nice thing is when you see these types of things, this is only the beginning. There's always going to be a new variant, as you know already. They are going to be having, you know, uh, different widths with the 18 and the 24, but right now they have the 20 and the 22 readily available. They're about 24 bucks, which isn't bad, um, especially for the quality, I'd say. So if you are like the design and you know you enjoy kind of the quirks of this setup, then you definitely won't be disappointed with the quality because I think the quality is definitely there. It feels like something that's gonna be, you know, 24 bucks. Uh, it doesn't feel like this is just some $12 strap or something like that. It definitely, when you take a look at the finish uh, level on the hardware and just the overall uniformity in the stitching of the material and the ends and how precisely everything has been executed, you're gonna see this as as you know uh, something that's that's just not cheap it, it's uh, it's very purposeful and it's very simple uh but it doesn't make it feel uh you know cheap in any way shape or form so let me know what you guys think in the comments below is it nice to see this notice make another appearance again or are you guys looking for something else to make it in the rotations for <laughs> these demos but man i i use this actually to demo some sailcloth straps uh, not too long ago in another video, but again, this thing is kind of a strap monster and uh, Just absolutely utterly versatile So you're gonna probably see it pop up more and more on the channel So with that said, let me know what you think in the comments below if you like the video Please do hit like and if you haven't already please subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks guys